Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Today I'm going to have a quick demonstration video for you guys of remote play for the PS Vita. In order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a quick little walkthrough on the setup. It's very simple, very easy. But I'll give you a quick little walkthrough of the setup first, and then we'll get into showing you how the remote play works. So in order to go through the first initial setup, we're going to have to move over to the PS3. Okay, cool beans. Here we are over on the PS3. Now the first thing you're going to need to do here is do a system update and make sure that you are on the most current version of the PlayStation 3 firmware, which I believe is 4.11. So there you go. Once you finish that, head down here to your remote play settings and this is going to allow you to register your PS Vita with your PS3. Basically it's like a Kind of like connecting two devices via Bluetooth. They just need to be registered with one another so that they can work together. As you can see, I have already connected my PS Vita to the PS3. And once you are done that, you are good to go. So the next thing you're going to do is head back over here to the PlayStation Network. One thing I forgot to show you in Remote Play Settings is you can actually configure this to have remote start where you can turn the remote start on so that even if your PS3 is not turned on you can still go ahead and connect and play via remote play which is pretty cool so then you're going to head back over here to the PlayStation Network and go ahead and start remote play now we'll move back over to the PS Vita Okay, cool beans, here we are back over here on the PS Vita. To start remote play on the PS Vita, all you're simply going to do is tap remote play and go ahead and start the application. Now there are two ways you can connect using remote play. You can connect via the private network that you set up when you registered your device with remote play with the PS3. Or you can connect via the internet if you happen to not be at home. You can use the internet to connect to your PS3 which is kind of cool. Since we're at home, we're going to go ahead and connect via private network. So let's go ahead and get connected. Shouldn't take too long, just a second or two here. And we'll be all connected and ready to rock. There we go. We are connected to the PS3. And as you can see, we have the cross media bar here, just like we would have if we were using a PS3, which is kind of cool. Um, it seems fairly zippy. Doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem too laggy. But um, the image quality I have set to good. Um, it could be better though, to be honest with you. It seems a little, you know, kind of not perfect. But it does still look really, really good. Um, as far as gameplay goes, that's where things get a little bit sticky. Um, connection works really well, and the quality seems to come through pretty well. The problem is Sony is touting remote play you know, as, uh, you know, they've been marketing it fairly heavily with remote play and cross-platform play. And uh, the problem with this is every single one of the PS3 games that I own are not compatible with remote play. Very few games are at this point. I will put a screenshot in here soon, you know, right around here, of all the games I have for the PS3. So there you go, those are all the games I have for the PS3, and not one of them, as you can see, is compatible with remote play. It simply says this content cannot be used during remote play for every single PS3 title that I own. Um, I own a few, I mean, it's, it's not like I own just a couple. I also have, uh, you know, some digital content here as well for the PlayStation 3. I have the Simpsons Arcade game. I have, uh, you know, a few demos here of Scary Girl that Fiora likes to play. I have Tomb Raider Underworld, uh, Heavy Rain demo. I got Limbo. Um, I have Trinity demo. I have an Elephant demo. I have Infamous, the original Infamous digital download of that. That also does not work. I also have Wipeout HD, which also does not work via remote play. Um, so Sony has kind of really screwed things up here because they, I mean, they've been touting remote play as, you know, a really useful and cool feature of the PS Vita. The problem is I only have one game that works 
with Remote Play. I went through every single PlayStation game I have, PS3, digital downloads, everything, and I was only able to find one game, and that is Crash Team Racing, which incidentally is one of the oldest games that I own. So, I mean, Crash Team Racing was way back in 1998, I think, was when Crash Team Racing came out. Um, they ported it over to the PS3 and PSP, and that is the only title I have that works via remote play. So I'll show you that today, but, you know, it would be nice if my PS3 titles supported remote play. Um, so for, you know, as far as my, you know, opinions on remote play go, remote play is hokey and gimmicky, and Sony shouldn't be touting it the way they are since, you know, I mean, they've been marketing it fairly heavily. And yet very, very few titles work with remote play. They say they're going to work in the future, but I mean, let's be honest, Sony's had a year with the Vita to get these games working via remote play. And the plain simple fact is they just don't, which, you know, kind of sucks. But there you go. As you can see, the quality of Crash Team Racing looks pretty good. Um, it's not real laggy or anything, and it seems to play pretty well and so on and so forth. So, you know, it seems pretty good. But, you know, it would be nice if you could play something other than that. That would be kind of cool. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video on remote play, guys. I want to try and keep this as short as I can. Um, for now, if remote play is one of the reasons you are considering picking up the PlayStation Vita, um, it definitely should not be because remote play is a little bit of a fail as of yet anyway. So there you go. Cool beans. That's going to do it for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button down there. And, uh, you know, maybe favorite this video. That definitely helps me out a lot. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on.